the binding constraints uh, that we have seen to growth, uh, that's I'm talking about uh, Zambia and in the region, is um, mainly that of power supply. The region has been growing between 4 and 5 percent. Zambia has been growing in the range of 6 percent over the last decade. So the um, projects that we embarked on at Kariba North Bank uh, to extend um, what was exist 600 megawatts that was there uh, by another 360 is something that is very important for Zambia's growth now going into the future and also for the region as you know uh, that power station does supply um, uh, electricity to the, to the region through the Southern Africa power pool. Zambia is part of the Southern Africa power pool. So for it to export any power, we need connectivity into the power pool. And what we've been doing is um, to work on a line that is joining the new uh, project into the power pool. And that has been completed uh, from Kariba into uh, Kafiwa West. And uh, now we are able to um, export into the other countries. As you know, Southern Africa has a big deficit in terms of power. South Africa is the most hit, but uh, not any other country is, 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 is um, exempted from that. The extension um, uh, project involved the engineering, uh, procurement and construction of uh, two uh, 180 megawatt generating units. Uh, with the auxiliaries that go with, with, the, with the units. Um, then uh, in addition to that, we also have um, a substation that has been uh, constructed. Uh, with the coming in of uh, machine number five and six, uh, it came with a substation. So from the substation, we now have our own supplies. We have a line, a 3 kV line from the power station going to Kalea substation to supply uh, the, the, the local uh, community. And then uh, that's, uh, what that substation has uh, brought is that we, are now, we should be able to now uh, supply uh, broader areas around this area because we now have a 132 kV line uh, that is going to run along the lake shore and also improve uh, the tourism along the, the lake because there isn't much because there was no power. The mining sector is one of the major sources of growth here in Zambia and uh, they are contributing uh, something in the range of uh, 10 to 12 percent of GDP and um, in terms of growth has been one of the fastest growing sectors in Zambia. We've had a lot of new mining companies coming on board uh, which has meant to us that um, the demand for power has been going up. Uh, we have uh, most of the new mines in the no northwestern part of Zambia and some of them up to now have not ramped up to the um, optimal uh, production because of uh, the main issue of uh, power supply. We are seeing a more of um, a reliance by the mining companies on power and also um, they are making a lot of investments to cut down on their costs which for us um, is um, beneficial because if they can operate at the lowest cost in terms of uh, production then we can have better paid miners and uh, there's that trickle down effect that would have on the actual miners on the ground. So I think it is something quite positive and also we are having of course um, a better standard of living for most of the people in these areas especially in the northwest because we are having power connectivity for the first time which is going to benefit them not just for mining activities but for other activities that they engage in on a day to day basis. So in terms of uh, economic outlook, um, if we could have more of these projects such as the Kariba North Bank, uh, the outlook for the region is very positive. <music>